Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on fat embolism. We will start with the definitions. Fat embolism is when a fat emboli passes into the bloodstream and lodges within a blood vessel. Whereas, fat embolism syndrome is a serious manifestation of fat embolism. Occasionally causes multi-system dysfunction. The lungs are always involved and the brain is usually next. For etiology of fat embolism, it occurs due to trauma to long bones or pelvis. Large fat droplets will enter the blood circulation and later on deposited in pulmonary capillary beds, known as fat embolism, causing several signs and symptoms. There is the GERDS criteria. To diagnose fat embolism syndrome, the major criteria consist of pedicle rash, respiratory insufficiency, and cerebral involvement, whereas the minor criteria include tachycardia more than 120 per minute, fever more than 39.4 degrees, retinal signs, jaundice, and renal signs. The laboratory findings are sudden fall in hemoglobin, sudden thrombocytopenia, high ESR, and fat macroglobinemia. To diagnose fat embolism, we need one major criteria, plus four minor criteria. The next slide shows Schoenfeld's criteria, which is another criteria. Different symptoms will have different scores. The symptoms include petechia, infiltrated alveola, hypoxemia, confusion, fever, tachycardia, and tachypnea. For treatment of this condition, it is mainly supportive treatment, ensure adequate oxygenation, and continue pulse oximetry. Other management include IV fluid therapy, heparin, and IV corticosteroids. That's all for this video. Thank you.